What's going on everybody? Sparks Comics here. We are going to be doing a bit of a different video for you today. We are going to be doing a review and comparison between the Reptilian Overlord mailers and Gemini mailers. So there are different sizes of the Reptilian Overlord mailers, but we for comparison's sake of what we are mailing, are going to be using this one here, which is the shape-shifting, shapeshifter comic mailer. Holds one to eight bags and bagged and board comics. Um, they say that they are, the cardboard is made using a 200 pound stronger corrugate. Um, the other mailers that they've got include the hybrid comic mailers, which hold up to 15 bagged and boarded comics, and the Alpha Draconian slab mailers, which are uh, made to mail one to three graded slabs. But for the purposes of today, we are going to be looking at the Shapeshifter comic mailer in comparison to the Gemini mailer. And now for this comparison, we want to uh, actually test it out and see how we can um, how well comics arrive in the in the mailer and so I'm going to be mailing something to Caroline and in the second part of this video we will see the results of that mailing so off the bat looking at the thickness of the cardboard it does look like it's got a little bit extra thickness versus the Gemini's but not, not super, not, nothing extra that seems like it would make a huge difference there. Now we look at uh, the technique used to put these together. Um, here's the Gemini that fold. You do that, and then you've got in here, you've got where you put your comics. Pretty straightforward. This will fold over. This will fold over. And you tape it and you mail it. Pretty, pretty decent. We all are pretty familiar with Gemini mailers. They have been the standard for many years. Um, but we want to check these out and see if maybe uh, we can find an alternative to Gemini's because there are some problems with Gemini's. Um, so to do this, I am going to grab the comics that I am sending. Um, in this there's also some art, um, the small art that uh, was commissioned at Baltimore. Um, and so that's gonna be in here too, in, in the back of one of these, um, in the bag and board. But we are going to put these three comics. Um, the first time I did this, I did not feel like I needed to tape them to keep them in here, but just to be safe, um, as always with things, I'm going to tape them because that's usually what I would do in a Gemini. Now, in a Gemini, I also usually will throw in a um, piece of cardboard on either side of, of the book, but there is not room for that in this, and it does not feel like that is a necessary thing either based on how... Um, how this ends up folding folding up. So I'll show you that. But I'm going to tape this together here so that we can uh, try this out. So, so I got that all set there. Perfect. All right, so if you watch their videos, they show uh, loading the comics onto here. And then this piece here we can fold up to actually sub provide some support to the comics and wrap it under. And so we are going to do that here. I'm gonna set this down and do it. Um, but that's going to allow there to be no, no extra room. The comics aren't gonna go wiggling around. Since we only have three comics in here, we probably need majority of this uh, as much as possible rolled up there. Uh, all right, and then the other piece here on this that we look at is this tab here. This is gonna end up going into here to secure 
things in place. To do so, you gotta bend it a little bit. So, already off the bat, you can tell that these do take a little bit more work than a Gemini mailer. But, we're gonna test out, of course, do they seem to safely get your comics places? And if so, maybe it's worth that extra work. So, let's get these put into here and show you guys what this ends up looking like. So, with this, may have to adjust my fold here to get this sitting just perfect. There we go. There we go. All right. So once you have everything all secured into here, you got those secured on the end there, which like I said, this does take a little bit more work than a Gemini. Um, you can go ahead and just fold everything up. So you fold that over, you get the reptilian overlord right there. You fold this flap over the top there. And then you fold these over. And you're going to connect those pieces. And you're all set. You have your box all together. You don't even need... Now, if you're going to ship straight from this, tape it up obviously. If you're going to throw it into a legal flat rate mailer from the U.S. Postal Service, I don't think tape is even necessary because it's secure in there. Um, and this is pretty secure. It does stick up a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. So this I would be putting then into a legal flat rate mailer, which it does fit in, and I did have a concern that it wasn't going to, and that's how I do a lot of my mailing, is using those mailers, and it worked. So, for me, that's a plus right there. And Gemini's, again, if we put comics into here, fold this up, and fold and fold, and then you tape a lot quicker. I will say that, this is a lot quicker. Feeling these though, this does feel more secure. And I don't feel like I needed to throw anything extra in there to provide extra security. Whereas in this, I feel like I need to throw some cardboard or something around my comics to keep it safe. So that's, uh, that's what we got going on there. So I'm going to mail this out to Caroline and in part two of this, we are going to see what happens when Caroline gets the package and when she opens it. So this is my half, the unboxing, now that we've done the boxing up. Yes, yep. that is the right term, boxing up of, so. <laughs> Lovely. I already cut it open. Check it out. Woo! So here it is. We're going to see how the books look on the inside because it did get lovingly treated by the USPS. Let's just <laughs> but other than that, real good. So, to open. So simple. I'm going to a lovely that. reptile. Flap up. And then. So, I'm pretty come right up. Hooray! Nice and easy. <laughs> Once you know how to fold it and unfold it, it's super simple to use. Yeah, we go from this to that that little box to your books are housed. Yep. In in there inside of this space. Yeah, 
comparatively with Gemini's, the folding of a Gemini is easier, but I felt safer sending the books. Yeah, there's in this. when I ship stuff in Gemini's and you kind of just yep like you feel the books moving around mm -hmm. if it's not taped in there and in this you don't need tape it's like yeah no movement it's well i feel like i need to throw like a book extra, in that little gap yeah i feel like i need to throw extra padding into a gemini yeah i, I mean, did not feel that i mean you saw how i had it in there there's just yeah. the books and it's got those two little nubs that keep it nice and secure against yeah so, you know, so all of them. And I like them and they fold up nice and small. Like this takes up less space than the Gemini does. If you're someone who puts them in padded envelopes and things, it's nice. You're going to get a little more cushion because you're going to be able to pad the envelope over. It's not going to cost you much to ship. Yeah. I have no, I, outside of like having scan the QR code that comes with it, do that and you're set. The folding is the most difficult part, and it's just because your brain is so hardwired to be like, Gemini, twist and fold. Yep. And that's the QR but code, which is I super really like cool these. with the sticker. Yeah. I've had no complaints, no sassy messages or anything about anybody who's gotten them, so. Yeah. I am happy with it. Different sizes, depending on what you're shipping. The one I sent to, to you, Caroline, was the smallest one. Yes. And then they also have them for slabs as well as like fat stacks of books. Yeah. Which I think the fattest one goes to like 15 books you can throw into a thing, which is crazy. Yeah. The max you can throw in a Gemini is like 10. And it's not a thick DC book either. Yeah. 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 So this was a, this was a shapeshifter comic mailer that we used here. The hybrid comic mailers are the ones that go up to 15. And then there's the alpha draconian slab mailers, which can do three slabs. And they all pretty much kind of fold up in the same mechanic of like tucking the books mm -hmm. in and everything. It's just going to be physically bigger and bigger. Yes. Like bigger that way. And then for slabs, bigger this way, obviously. Yep. But yeah. And the. They uh, see it. I think the cost is even pretty comparable. Um, let's see. A 50 count is $65.99 or 100 count for $132.99. Um, Gemini's might be a little bit cheaper, but it's also, I think, you are getting more material. You're getting more secure material. Yeah. And they're just, like, a little bit thicker than Gemini, too. Like, I don't feel like I'm concerned about it going, like, it's not really going to bend in on it. Like, I'm trying to. No. Yeah. It's not going to get fucked up in your mailbox. Like, they're not going to be able to just, like. Right. In. It's going to be a little little harder <laughs> for USPS to uh, mess up your comics. And if they decide to Frisbee it, like, they're safe. They're secure. Yeah. And I didn't add any extra padding in there nope. i just threw it into a, a usps uh legal flat rate mailer so it and they did what they could they tried it does they look like they tried to it. stand on it they did try and get it but they did not get it yeah. so, 10 out of 10, would recommend. yeah definitely would recommend go check them out we'll put their link down below in the description uh, to the reptilian overlord website and they got a cool name like yeah i don't know that that kind of gets me to the yeah, little logo I, all the stickers are already on my short box but i'm obsessed with the, <laughs> the whole concept yes. we know i'm a fan of the lizard people praise be today <laughs> if you Great watch powerful warriors of the world yes if you're watching e e e e e and if you watch they're the reptilian overlord is in their true form as they show you how to fold the mailer. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, so go check it out if you want an alternative to Gemini mailers. If you're mm -hmm. tired of your mailers getting smashed, go try something else out. I like them. I'm a fan. Same here. So go check them out. 
and let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks, everyone.